Hey, welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans to Gibson, Kansas, the campus of Southeast of Saline High School. Dale Leach, Mike Perry, and Noah Helgut here tonight bringing you the action, starting out with the girls versus Southeast of Saline. The Lady Lions are three and four overall and one and three in league. The Lady Trojans are four and one overall and one and one in the league. Their, their win was over Beloit at Beloit, which is impressive. pretty impressive, yes. Yep. Uh, the Trojans are scoring 46.4 points, giving up 34.8. So they're above their opponents and scoring by 11.6. Minneapolis is giving up 36.1 and scoring 34.9, sort of minus 1.3. Big problem tonight is we're without Kylie Fuller due to some uh, wisdom teeth being removed. So we're without with uh, one of our leading scorers and definitely the leading rebounder. Uh, Till next week, but had to get it done. That's just all there is to it. Uh, Minneapolis won their last game uh, versus Republic County, 38-35. Else, the uh, Southeast Sling Girls lost to Sacred Heart at Salina by a score of 44-39, and we remember what Sacred Heart did to us. So that doesn't uh, surprise me at all. No. This is the 94th game in the series, dating back to 1977. Southeast leads at 51-42. Here at Southeast, they lead 30 to 16. MHS has won two of the last three, but Southeast won the last game on February 9th, 36 to 23. They kind of owned our cookies owned here for a while. They owned us. You go up to Bloyd and get a victory up there. That's that's tough country to play in up there. Yes, it is. I was very imp yeah, well, seems surprised like and impressed a, when I saw it. A month and a half since we've had a game. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That back before Thanksgiving. That break was sure nice, though. Time for introductions. Now the starting lineup for Minneapolis. As Dale mentioned, we're playing without Kylie Fuller tonight. Number two, Carolyn Giles. For Southeast, point guard, number two, Meredith Tilburg. For Minneapolis, Lady Lions, number four, that's Kirsty Nelson. For Southeast, Morgan Kniper, number four. It said it failed. For Minneapolis, number 10, Zoe Shoup. And for Southeast, number 20, Keely Orr. And for the Lady Lions, number 15, that's Charisma McNary. Charisma, she gets a hot hand, can score a lot of points. And for Southeast, number 34, Carson Schlesinger. For Minneapolis, Courtney Forte will start in place of Kylie Fuller. And for Southeast, in the middle, Molly Chitty, and they will try to get the ball to her inside for that easy bank shot. She was putting them in in uh, warm-ups, left and right. So they've got an inside game, but if they're scoring 46 points a ball game, they've got some outside shooting as well. So. We'll have to cover up that three-point three point line. With Fuller not here, I would imagine Natalie Borman will get quite a bit of minutes. Courtney Forte is going to have to watch her fouls and stay on the floor here tonight. Well, it's good to be back in the gym again. Yes, it is. Of 
Forte will jump center for Minneapolis. Chitty will jump center for Lady Trojans. And we're just about ready to go. And we're underway. Tip controlled by Forte. Charisma Vigneri has it. Man-to-man -man defense by the Lady Trojans. Zoe Shoup with the ball out on top. Right wing, Giles. Gets a good ball screen into the paint. She goes, picks up her dribble, and has to dish it back out to Kirsty Nelson. Shoot, dribble driving into the paint, stops and shoots. Good. Nice shot by Zoe Shoup. Entry pass to Chitty, and the ball is almost taken away. Good job by Minneapolis to try to get a handle on it. Ball squirts out, and Lady Trojans maintain possession. Zone defense by Minneapolis. With Forte running, Chitty. And traveling is the call. They turn it over. Minneapolis to play it in. Shoot gets it in. Just underway here, Minneapolis leading 2 0. Now the double team by the Lady Trojans out front, Charisma Vigneri, and they extend the defense way out there, looking for a trap. Minneapolis throws it down low. Forte shot up, no good, and the rebound's pulled out of there by Lady Trojans. Knipper, Kniper, excuse me, with the uh, rebound. Now the pass down low by Schlesinger goes out of bounds and they turn it over, unforced air. Shoop to play it in for Minneapolis, 6.36 left, just underway. Giles gets the double team, now Nelson. They reverse the ball nicely and beat the press. Shoop picked up her dribble, now double teamed out front. Nelson, three-pointer on its way, no good. And the rebound pulled out of there by Morgan Kniper. Now down low, shot off the glass, no good. Ball is tipped around and put in by Kaylee Orr. And we're all knotted up, here comes the double team. Charisma is looking for someone to pass it to and Coach Weatherman is gonna call a timeout. Still had a little time, but uh, nothing was working on this end of the floor. Beat that press. All right, our first timeout here. I think it's just a 30 second timeout, Dale. So. Okay. I'd like to thank some of our community supporters here helping, uh, helping us do this uh, video live broadcasting. The Crooked Nail Studio with Alexis Kern, Crossland Crop Insurance, the John Pruitt, the Klein Oil Company of Delphos, the Jim Klein, Hometown Hardware, Pam Barker and Vicki Kaufman and Sunflower Realty with Monty Nelson. Kirsty Nelson to play it in, they pull back their press. They will undoubtedly put it right back on after they score a basket. Kniper, off to Giles. Man to man defense by the Trojans. Nelson open again from three point range. Dumps it down low to Charisma Vigneri, she's tied, yes, she's tied up. And the possession arrow favors Lady Trojans. Minneapolis will do a little press of their own here. Sniper left wing, now the ball's tipped by Forte, but there's right to or Now the layup up and in by Meredith Silberg. Giles two on one and didn't get the ball over in time for Forte to get a shot at the basket, but the ball is tipped out of bounds by Southeast. And we'll play it in, Nelson to trigger the play. Gets it into Carolyn Giles out front. So he shoot. And they've dropped into a two three zone. Giles down low to Forte, shot up, no good. And 
Chitty has the rebound for the Lady Trojans. As they get it down low and easy basket up and in by Orr. We throw it over the top of the press. Shot from the outside, up and in by Shoot. Shoot has all four points and a steal by Minneapolis. They turn it over. McNary open from three point land. Front rim no good. And Tilburg comes out of there with the ball. Now the layup by Schlesinger is good on a nice pass from Orr. Now we have a two on one. Giles shot is blocked by Chitty. Now they have a one on two. And they throw it away. Should have been a double dribble anyway by just getting not, not getting enough stream here. Actually, Reebok and Natalie Borman in the contest for Minneapolis. Shoot, walking dribble, clears the timeline. Now the double team throws over the top. Big Neri has it into the paint. She goes, her shot's blocked by Chetty. Gets her own rebound. And we reset the offense, 329 left first quarter. And the ball is tipped as Shoot tried to get the ball to the wing. McNary has it. Dribble drive down to the baseline is defended well. Now the left hand layup, no good. Out front, Nelson, three pointer, no good. Rebound by Borman. And the stick back, no good. And the rebound's pulled out of there by Chitty. An offensive rebound by, by Natalie Borman. Chitty out on top. Now the baseline drive. And they reverse it right back out and give it to Schlesinger. Left-hand shot from the wing is no good. And Chitty over the top so back up. has the rebound. And the stick back. Her first two points of the ball game. She picked up her dribble and and it looked like McNary lost it off her foot as she was headed for the timeline. We turn it over and let's see, number 31's in the contest, Emily Mears for Southeast. Slenger has it out on top though, dribble drive on the baseline, layup, no good. And Shoup has a rebound. She's pounded by Schlesinger. That's her first personal foul. Minneapolis to play it in under her own basket. 10 to four, Lady Trojans. Off to Nelson. Giles dribble drive into the paint, stops, backs it back out to shoot. Now jump shot in the lane, her shot is blocked. Madeline Blake into the contest for Southeast and they turn it over. Madison Fear into the contest. They're going to play 12 girls here tonight. Reeprock has it off to Giles on the right wing. Back to Ashley out on top. Kirsten Nelson. Look now, shoot. Turns and shoots. No good. Borman had a hand on it. Tips around and Chitty has the rebound for Southeast. Schlesinger crossover dribble, dumps it down to Chetty, and they're shot it up and in. 12-4 Southeast.
Well, Dale, I can kind of see how they beat Beloit. Yeah. Pretty good team. They're deep. Got 12 kids. We try to throw it over the top of a 5'11 post player. Mears has it out front, Chitty. Nelson jumps that passing lane and they turn it over. Nice job there by Kirstie Nelson. Entry pass down low to Natalie Worman stepped out of bounds. By Fear. And they return most of their starting lineup. Forte has it. Shot Nelson up and in. in. Charisma by Charisma Vigneri. Nice up and under move by Charisma. Gets her an open look. Down on the baseline. Ball is chipped around. I don't think it's going to stay with Southeast. No. We didn't, Minneapolis. We did not touch it. seconds left first quarter. We'll see if we can get a shot off here. 12-6, southeast. Giles has it. Down low, Nelson. Shot hard off the glass. No good. Forte on the back side. Cleans up nicely on the back side. Nice job by Courtney. Get that offensive rebound. And they need to give us that basket. End of the first quarter should be 12 to 8. Yeah. I don't think there should be any discussion. <laughs> oh, they hadn't counted it yet. I was blocked by the fence there. Uh, the referees are discussing something here. But, uh, nothing about a basket. There it's up. There you go. There it's up. 12 to 8 at the end of one. And we'll take a quick time out and be right back with you. This is Eagle Communications, Channel 20. We'd like to thank our sponsors for helping out this year. Uh, thank Lyle Davidson of the Davidson Agency, your nationwide dealer and, and an independent insurance agent. Call Lyle at 785-523-4202. He has offices in Bennington, Delphus, and Minneapolis. Uh, they offer a wide range of companies and products. Contact Lyle for your insurance needs. Well, we're down at 12 to 8 after one quarter. They've out rebounded us 10 to 5, but they have six turnovers compared to our three, which we kind of surprises yeah, me. Yeah, we have managed their pressure quite well. They're pressing full court and uh, been doing a pretty good job. Underway here in the second quarter. Man-to-man -man defense. Motion offense by Minneapolis. Shoop with it out on top. It's a ball screen from Forte. Back to Giles. Giles dribble drive all the way in. She goes. Shot way over the rim. No good. And the rebound's pulled out of there. By Sledinger. Ball is tipped. Picked up by Charisma Vigneri. Two on one, she's going to go all the way in for the layup. Charisma nice job by Charisma to keep it and go all the way in. Gets us to within two. Long three-pointer on its way. Back rim no good, and the rebound is pulled down out of there by Charisma Vigneri. Giles on the right wing. And we reset the offense, as Dale mentioned, just down two points here in the second quarter. Shoot, baseline drive shot up, no good. And the rebound's pulled out of there by Southeast. They're killing us on the defensive boards. Sniper. And they turn it over. Terrible. They have nine defensive rebounds compared to our four offensive rebounds right now. Tilburg walks with the ball. Minneapolis with a chance here to tie it up. 
Down low, Giles tries to shoot over the big post and has her shot blocked. And Southeast with the possession. Baseline drive is shut down nicely by Vigneri. Now Chetty turns and gets it off to Kaylee Orr, and she's got that shot up and in. She's got three buckets down low. Charisma almost lost it. Back out front, Nelson. Her pass goes directly to Chitty. And we turn it over. Good defense by Carolyn Giles out on top, and they throw it away. In for the Lady Lions, Hayden Smith, and then in Foreman, in for Southeast of Celine Pedal and Blake. Blake back in the contest for the Lady Trojans. First half action, Minneapolis down four. Shoot. Gets it off to Smith, who is in the contest. Dribble drive, gets it back off to shoot. Now in the paint she goes, and it's picked up there, loose ball, and Blake walks with it as well, and they turn it right back over. Peyton Smith into the contest. Shoe pad on top, man to man defense. McNary in the paint, back to Giles. Back to McNary, Smith into the lane. She passes it right back out to Shoe. Giles has it. Takes the shot and is fouled. Kind of a runner there. Mm -hmm. Used the left <laughs> hand. She is fouled. Go to the free throw line and shoot two. Sniper whistled with her first personal foul. Carolyn Giles will shoot two here. First free throw on its way, rimming out. In for Minneapolis, Kirsten Nelson, and Forte, 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 and and Forte, and Forte, and Forte, and Forte, and One out of two, pass cross court, goes through everyone and out of bounds, they turn it over. And for Southeast of Slade, Emily Mears. Mears into the contest for Southeast. They're playing 10 or 12 girls. Shoot, gets it off to Nelson, has a open look to the basket, shut down quickly by Schlesinger. Giles off to Nelson. They reset the offense. Nelson tries to get it short to Forte, and she walks with the ball trying to get out of traffic down low. 14 to 11, Southeast. 3.56 to go in the second quarter. Mears. Gets it off to Tilburg, she drives all the way in, gets a shot. Foul on Minneapolis, Charisma Veneri, her first personal foul at the line for Southeast, shooting to Veneri is whistled with the foul. Two shot foul here for Tilburg, she got the first one. 15-11, second shot here for Tilburg. Rimming in, got them both. Now the full court pressure. We pass it over the top, clear the timeline. 
McNary open three-pointer on its way, no good. Long Karam is tracked down by Shoup. Now Nelson has it. Left hand layup, no good. She is fouled. Oh. Two-shot foul coming for Kirstie Nelson. Blake with the reach-in foul. Kirstie Nelson. Two-shot foul here. First free throw is good. And for Southeast, Celine, Keely Orr. Sixteen to twelve. Second free throw doesn't get there. Does not draw iron, and Southeast will play it in. Minneapolis with a little one-two, one-one trap. Full court pressure here, and Forte in the middle. The point. All the way in, layup, no good, and foul. As Orr will get a two-shot foul. Nelson's first personal foul. Or free throw, front rim, no good. Three nineteen left, first half. Or second free throw up and same as the first, front rim. But they get the rebound. Skip past three pointer on its way, way over the rim, no good. And they get the rebound on the back side and reach in foul once again. It'll be Orr, 15, McNary, that's her second. Call it on the floor and they'll play it in. 15 foul. Chitty, jump shot, good. Now we got a two on one. Giles to Forte and shot up and good. Shot from the outside, no good. And the rebound on the rebound. back side. Or with the offensive rebound and stick back is up and good. McNary dribble drive. Gets it off to Nelson, three-pointer over the rim, no good. And tipped out of there by Lady Trojans, and we'll play it in. 20-14, Lady Trojans, Christy Nelson to play it in. Turnover on the Lions. One turnover on the... Chitty just has the ball taken away by Charisma Vigneri. In the traffic she goes, shot no good, and Schlesinger has the rebound for Southeast. Dumps it down to Mears, now out on top. Shot from the outside is good. Kilberg is a three. Nobody in the middle. They throw it over the top and clear the timeline. Minute 35 left. Forte. Travel. Madison Fear back in the contest. Minute 29 left. First half. Tilburg. Plays it in to Schlesinger. Guarded by Giles. Good defense. Five seconds, closely guarded by Carolyn Giles. Forces the turnover, nice job on the defensive end by Carolyn. They turn it over. 
Just a minute left, first half. McNary out on top. Schlesinger gets a hand on it. Shoot. Reeprock. Pass is intercepted. High mirrors and Rashley fouls her as she gets to the basket. Fouls on Minneapolis, Ashley Reeprock. Her first personal foul at the left for Southeast, Madison Beer. Beer with the free throw up and good. And for Southeast of Sling, Molly Chitty. Chitty back in the contest. Free throw back rim, no good. Chetty gets a hand on it. Tipped around, but shoot, comes up with the rebound for Minneapolis. Reeprock open on the baseline, back out front to shoot. Gets a ball screen. Back to Reeprock. Yeah. McNary with a nice look. Rolls on the out. low block, and it rolls out. One and done. Southeast has the rebound, and the ball here close out the first half. Chitty in the baseline. Skip pass is tipped once. Fear left-hand shot, no good. Tries to get her own rebound, and Giles has the position, and they do call a foul. Yes, they do. That's their fifth team foul, so there will be no, no shots. No free throws, yeah. Score after one half play, Southeast with the 10-point uh, advantage, 24 to 14. We'll be back in a little bit with a halftime wrap-up. Welcome back to Southeast Gym. Halftime ladies are trailing the Lady Trojans 24-14 here at halftime. Point totals for Minneapolis, Carolyn Giles has one point. Kirsty Nelson has one point. Zoe Shoup has four. Chris McNary has four. And Courtney Forte has four. For Southeast, Morgan Kniper played well but did not score. Molly Chitty inside had six points. Meredith Tilburg had seven. Keely Orr had eight leading all scorers tonight so far. Carson Schlesinger had two. And Caitlin Fear had one. That's rounding out the scoring. 24-14, Southeast with the lead here at halftime. They outscored us 12-8 uh, the first quarter and 12-6 in the second. So point-wise, the quarters pretty much mirrored each other. Uh, they've out, they've doubled us on the boards, 18 rebounds to our nine. They really killed us on the the defensive boards. They've out rebounded us 12 under our basket to five offensive rebounds for us. They've had six offensive rebounds. We've had four defensive rebounds. Turnover wise, the only place where we're looking good in their behalf. Uh, they have 13 turnovers to yeah. our nine. So for once, we're not leading the way on turnovers. Yeah. Very helpful. Very helpful. We'll take another break and be back for third quarter action. Mike asked me uh, as I get ready to roll here second half how the wrestlers are doing. Overall, they're doing very well. They, uh, right before Christmas, were ranked fourth in class 3 2 one a um, they had a duel last night at Riley County. They lost by a score of like 45 to 36 or something to that effect. Uh, but they had three of their starters out with illness. Yep. So that did not help them at all. Blue bugs going around. Yep. Okay, we're underway. Southeast has the possession here to start the second half. Outside shot is up and good by Fleister. Shoup has it out on top, gets it off to Giles. 
Carolyn drove, triple drives into the paint back to Nelson. They open the second half scoring with a three and so do we know. Christmas shot, Carolyn. Back rim and Carolyn Giles cuts across the lane to grab that rebound for Minneapolis. Good offensive rebound for Minneapolis. Kirstie Nelson. Left hand runner, no good. Forte rescues it on the baseline. Tries to get it back in play and it's intercepted by Schlesinger. Now Tailburg layup, no good, and it's tipped around, picked up by Knipper. Skip pass down low, shot is up and good. Kaylee Orr. If you're watching Chitty on the front side, you better watch Orr on the back side. She has 10 points. And the reach in foul is whistled on Forte. Fouls on the of Slim, only Chitty for first personal foul. Chitty's first. They call that on the floor, we'll play it in. Shoot. Has her pocket pick by Tilburg. Orr out on top. Now Tilburg gets it down to Orr. Shot up off the glass. No good. Too hard. And Charisma Vigneri has the rebound for Minneapolis. I don't know whether to look over the top of this rail or under it. <laughs> Giles has it for Minneapolis. Now Nelson. Giles baseline drive, and she is fouled by Knipper. Fouled on Southeast of Slate, Morgan Knipper, her second Kniper. personal foul, team foul number two. That's her second, second team foul. Nelson play it in. Out front, McNary. Giles three-pointer on its way, no, no good. Forte has the rebound, her shot up, no good. Almost gets her own rebound. Chitty comes out of there with it. Southeast with the ball. Chitty has the ball taken away and it's kicked around a little bit. It's going to stay with Southeast. 531 left third quarter. 29-14. Minneapolis yet to scratch here in the second half. Baseline drive by Schlesinger out front to Tilburg. Ball is kicked. Don't call that too much anymore, do they, Dale? No. Chitty, turnaround jump shot, no good. Gets her on rebound and follows it up. Puts it up and in. Her eighth point. Four and Chitty with 18, uh, 18 or 20 points in the paint, Dale. So they get a lot of their scoring down low. Charisma all the way in and does not return to the floor before she catches the ball. She was still in air in the air when she caught the ball and considered out of bounds. Hadn't put the feet down yet. Fear with the ball finally decides to dribble drive, kicked it back out now. Turn around, jump shot, no good, and McNary has the rebound from Minneapolis. McNary wide open, three pointer is good. First three pointer of the night from Minneapolis comes in a timely spot. We needed a bucket. First points of the second half from Minneapolis. Left hand layup Madison, fear. by Fear. She goes all the way around the horn. That's her third point of the game. Shoot out on top. Gets it off to Nelson. Dribble drive, shot no good, and Sledinger comes out of there with a rebound for Southeast. It was 
touched last by Southeast. Blake had a hand on it last. As it rolled out of bounds, it will be Minneapolis ball when we come back. Full timeout taken by Minneapolis, and we'll take one too. Minneapolis trailing 33-17. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. We'd like to thank our sponsors who are helping us uh, with these live stream video broadcasts. We'd like to thank Citizen State Bank and Trust Company of Delphus, Glasgow, and Minneapolis. See Owen Kendall or Jared Schmidt for your banking needs. They offer, they feature online banking, deposit accounts, loans, and investment, investment and trust services, and a farm and ranch corner. Also wish to thank the DNM Body Shop, John Wright. At 1206 North 120th Road, call John at 785-392-2666 for all your auto body and glass repair needs. I might add John Wright and his group up there at DNM Body Shop painted a couple new doors for our curio shop out at Rock City. Oh. And their automotive quality they don't limit themselves to four-wheel Very vehicles. nice, very <laughs> nicely done. We do appreciate that. And uh, wanted to thank John for that. Back after that timeout, Nelson with the ball from Minneapolis out front to Charisma. Carolyn Giles, dribble drive baseline, tries to dump it down low to Forte. She double teamed. And it looks like Schlesinger comes out of there with the ball for Southeast. Now Fear, a shot from the outside. Chitty has the rebound and the shot up and in. And the rebounds that Al, uh, Fuller usually pulls down are getting gobbled up by Chitty. And Orr down low. McNary. Into the lane she goes, shot off the glass, good. Nice Charisma runner Mary. by Charisma. And they call a foul on Caroline Giles. Peyton Smith headed for the scorer's desk. Out front it goes. Fear has it. Left hand dribble. Schlesinger on the left wing dribbles it back out on top. Resets the offense for the Lady Trojans. Open from three point. Range shot no good. Chitty has the ball taken away nicely by Natalie Borman. Nice rebound by Borman. Giles. Back to Nelson on the right wing. Entry pass to Borman. Back out to Nelson. And she is fouled. Before the shot, call that on the floor. Thirty second timeout, Southeast. Go back to some of our sponsors again. We should thank the Davidson Agency of Bennington, Delphus, and Minneapolis. Contact Lyle Davidson, your nationwide insurance agent, also an independent insurance agent. 785-523-4202. They offer a wide range of companies and products for your insurance needs. We also wish to thank Sunflower Realty, Monty Nelson, Hometown Hardware, Pam Barker and Vicki Kaufman. Fine Oil Company of Delphus, Jim Klein. Crossland Crop Insurance, John Pruitt. And the Crooked Nail Studio, Alexis Kern, for your support of these broadcasts. Minneapolis played in after that timeout. Nelson to Vigneri, yep. shot good. Charisma nice pass by Nelson. Finds Charisma wide open in the lane. Shot up and good. 35 21 now. Defense! 
They're on course to score that 46 points, aren't they, Dale? Yep. Reverse layup is good. She's, she's left-handed. <coughs> I wouldn't say it was a prayer, but close to it. <laughs> Scoop shot up and in. Reverse layup. McNary, dribble drive baseline. She's fouled, but gets a shot off, and it goes in. Nice play there by <coughs> McNary. On the baseline, ball hung on the rim. Now, Peyton Smith has the steal and the layup. Rims off. Now, Borman has it. She's fouled. And she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two here. Fouls on Southeast. Fouls on Chitty. Natalie will get a two shot foul here. First throw on its way. Just rims off. Natalie toes the line, shot up and rimming in. Reap Rock, good defense, almost steal by Peyton Smith. Now out front, Schlesinger. Dribble drive on the baseline. Had the runner, no good, and they're over the back. Blake over the back. 15 foul for Southeast. 25 seconds left, third quarter. Ball kicked around, picked up by Blake. Gets it off to Schlesinger, 15 to shoot. Schlesinger all the way down the lane, shot up and no good, and she is fouled. McNary whistled with her third. 9.3 seconds left here in the third quarter. Sure looked like she was just standing her ground. Free throw up. Rimming in. Bounces in. Got them both. In four, Southeast of Slade, Emily Mears. Charisma with the ball, dribble drive on the baseline, guarded by Orr, gets it off Borman, shot up and good. They're going to count that. Oh no. Waving it off. Doggone it. That was close. Scores 39 to 24 here after three quarters. They have scores 15 to 10 in the third stanza. So we do up our output a little bit, but so do they. I'd like to thank the Scott Osherman Agency and Scott Osherman for sponsoring these broadcasts. Call Scott at 785-392-3111. He's got your insurance need, needs covered in Minneapolis and Belleville. Your American Family Insurance Agent. Okay, fourth quarter. Minneapolis with possession arrow. Natalie just a half a second. Quicker would have had that bucket at the end of the quarter. That would have been a nice one to end the quarter. Time ran out on us. Nelson back out to shoot. 
Entry pass to Forte. She's pushed and out. Count it. with the and one here. See if she can get the three point play and she does not. A little short. Needs to be in the weight room a little more. <laughs> Good defense by Giles. Denying the pass or has it. Clears the timeline. Schlesinger down the lane she goes. Layup. Good. Lesnar. Shot no good. Down low by shoot. And rebounds pulled out of there by Kniper. Lesnar again. Lesnar. He's just headed down the lane every time she gets the ball. Makes it 43-26. Southeast with 7.06 remaining here in the fourth quarter. I'd like to thank DNM Body Shop and John Wright for helping sponsor these broadcasts. DNM Body Shop is at 1206 North 120th Road in Minneapolis. Call John at 785-392-2666. We'll take care of all your auto body repair needs, paint, interior repair, auto glass tinting and replacement, and also exterior doors at Rock City, Kansas. Just doors of some type. No response. <laughs> I was waiting there for a correction, but I didn't get corrected. Well, I keep smelling that popcorn, Dale. I think I might have to. I was going to get some before the game started, but I had too many computer problems. <laughs> Typical. Technology. Minneapolis with the ball here. Nelson out on top. Zone defense, outside shot by Minneapolis, no good. Over the rim it goes, and Charisma tried to the tight rope on the baseline and could not gain possession of the ball. 43-26. That's a nice play there by Charisma Vigneri. Oh, they, they gave her a foul, Dale. Well, I think she knew it was coming, judging by her reaction. It's her fourth. That was a cheapy. <laughs> Good defense by Minneapolis, they throw it away. Nice job on the defensive end. No, no, no. Yeah. Thank you. Minneapolis to play it in. Giles, entry pass to Forte, turns and looks, shoots. No good, and over the rim. And the rebound's pulled out of there by Orr. Giles with some pesky defense forces the turnover. Carolyn Giles has done that two or three times tonight. Good defense by Carolyn. Nelson play it in. 6.22 left in this contest. Minneapolis trailing the Lady Trojans. Nelson looking inside. Try to get it down low to Forte, and the ball's taken away by Orr. Slesner behind the back dribble. Gets it off. 
to Tilburg. Shot, no good, and the rebound is claimed nicely by Courtney Forte. Ball tipped away by Slesner. In four, Minneapolis, Prisma Veneri, Peyton Smith, and Nelson. Four, Nelson Foreman Nelson and Nelson Peyton Smith, Smith into the contest for Minneapolis. Nelson will get a breather along with Forte. Now we're ready to go. Shoot out on top, 540 left in this contest. McNary back in for Minneapolis. Borman down low, turns, tries to get the ball over to Smith, and ball is intercepted by Southeast. 524 left in the contest. Jump shot, no good, and rebounds spot four, and it's a tie-up. Peyton Smith and Tilburg. Possession arrow to Southeast. It will remain with the Lady Trojans. Chitty back to Slesner. Guarded by Giles. Knipper down low to Chitty and her shot up and good. Just tips it over the top. She's pretty tall. And she moves well. In the lane, Charisma Vigneri goes. She gets her own rebound and is fouled. Chitty's 5'10". Good, strong 5'10". Schlesner whistled with the foul. That's her third. Vigneri to the free throw line. Two-shot foul for Charisma. Free throw up and good. Second free throw rimming off, and Chitty has the board for Southeast. Pass over the top is intercepted nicely by Charisma Vigneri as they try to get it down low. To Blake. Vigneri, or excuse me, Giles back to Forte, and her shot is up and good. Forte with eight points here in this contest. Good outing for Courtney so far. Dribble drive by Fear, stops and pops, and shot comes up short, and the rebound is pulled down out of there by Forte. Shot on its way, three-pointer out, just front-rimmed it. Looked good from here, though, for sure. Southeast with the ball. They're gonna run some clock. Tilburg, back to Blake. She stopped, takes the jump shot, shot no good, they get the rebound and ball tipped away nicely by Charisma Vigneri. Surprised they didn't whistle her with another foul. Now we throw the ball away. Pass was way too long. It's clear out of bounds. 3.07 left in the contest. Fear gets it in to Slesner. Now it's one on one. Forte. Excuse me, two on one. Kitty's on the other side. And the shot is up and in. Nice play there by Southeast as they had the numbers. Entry pass to Forte. Shot up. Good. I think she's getting the hang of the, getting that defender on her yep. hip. Mm -hmm. Sure looks like it. She's got a nice game going here. Blake has it out on front, dribble drive into the paint, layup, good. Uh, 
That's her first basket of the game. 49-31, three-pointer on its way, no good. McNary and Nelson had the rebound. Forte fighting for it, gets it off to Fear, and she pulls it back out front. Two minutes left. Forte almost jumps that one. Now the layup again by Blake. 20-point advantage now for the Trojans. Shoe has it. Pass right at the feet of Giles. Cannot get a handle on that one. And a steal by Nelson. Nelson, good job by Nelson. Now one on two. Charisma hustles down the court. And the pass by Giles to the other side. We missed the layup. And Southeast has the rebound. Timeout, Southeast, 30 seconds timeout. 30 second timeout, so the coach can get in a few more players. You have banking needs? If you do, go to Citizen State Bank and Trust in Delphi, Glasgow, Minneapolis. Ask for either Owen Kendall or Jared Schmidt. Citizen State Bank features online banking, deposit accounts, loans, investment and trust services, and the farm and ranch corner. Cleveland, Reet, Brock, Borman, Smith, and Donovan into the contest for Minneapolis. Southeast to play it in. Good defense by Cleveland, now Smith. Donovan way out on top with the defense. Peyton Smith with the good defense, and I thought she White. forced the turnover. It's gonna stay with the Lady Trojans. That should, I thought maybe she knocked it off her knee, but it's out of bounds to Southeast once again. Inbound play is defended nicely by Minneapolis. Smith out on top with the good defense. Almost a steal by Reeprock. Now the layup is no good and she is fouled. Fouls whistled on Natalie Borman. Fear at the charity stripe. A two shot foul, first free throw, good. <laughs> Under a minute left in the contest, 52 31, 53 31, she got them both. Cleveland, off to Borman, Reap Brock. Dribble driving in the paint, stops, jump shot up, no good. And Borman has the offensive rebound and she is fouled. Fouls on Southeast of Slain, Anya Holt, her first personal foul at the line for the Lady Lions, Natalie Borman. Free throw up, good. Graham missed the second. She's two out of four from the free throw line. Twenty-five seconds left in the contest. Fear with the ball on the left wing looks inside. Now the ball is stolen by Cleveland and tipped away and regathered. Now three-pointer on its way. It sticks. <laughs> You don't see that very often, thank goodness. And the possession arrow favors Minneapolis. It's a jump ball. Jump up there and get it. Unfortunately, we don't have any seven-footers that can jump up there and knock that out. And the person that stuck it has to get it out. 
Underneath it. <laughs> Get it underneath it. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Two points. <laughs> I thought they might have to bring in a substitute to get the ball unstuck. We'll play it in. Ten seconds left. Reap Rock to play it in for Minneapolis. Rescued by Cleveland. Five to shoot. Runner no good. And Borman with a shot at the buzzer again. Just rims off. And that's the way it will end. 53-32. Southeast with the victory over our Lady Lions here tonight. Get some point totals for you and be back with the final wrap-up of the ladies' game. We'll be back in just a minute. They had Southeast had scores is 12 to 8 in the first quarter, 12 to 6 in the second quarter, 15 to 10 in the third quarter, and in the final stand, the 14 to 8. And we end up pretty close to our scoring average. They go over theirs. We had uh, 22 rebounds compared to their 33. We had 14 turnovers compared to their 19. That was the one bright spot for us is that they had more turnovers than we did, which is a little different than normal. So give the Lady Lions good credit there. Overall, I think they played fairly good ball, take, take care of the ball compared to what we've seen at times in the past. Uh, they had... Out of their 33 rebounds, 22 of those were defensive rebounds. So they they really owned the board and limited our ability to put any putbacks in the hole. It's one of the reasons the score widened up as much as it did. Point totals for Minneapolis. Carolyn Giles had one point. Kirstie Nelson had one point. Zoe Shoup had four. Charisma Vigneri had 14, which will be uh, the leading scorer for both teams. I think uh, Southeast had a girl with 14 as well. Kylie Fuller did not play and was missed, averaging about 10 points a ball game and about that many rebounds as well. Courtney Forte filled in nicely, though, with 10 points, her career high so far. Natalie Borman. Played a lot of minutes tonight. She scored two points. Ashley Reebok played a lot, but did not score. For Southeast, Molly Chetty had 14. Meredith Tilburg had seven. Keely Orr had 10 points. And Carson Schlesner, Schlesner, Schlesner had 11. Madeline Blake off the bench had four. Madison Fear had seven, rounds out the scoring for Southeast, 53 points. For, for our player of the game, we're going to go with two tonight. Uh, sponsored by the Davidson Agency, Lyle Davidson, and Citizen State Bank and Trust. We're going to go with Courtney Forte, kind of a breakout game for for Courtney this season. You yep. had, had the 10 points and several good rebounds. Played real, started to play real well underneath the basket there tonight. And we'll also go with Charisma Veneri with the team high 14 points on the night. Only bad thing about Charisma, she didn't get some more three pointers. Yep. <laughs> one, I just think one. Tonight, yeah. Yep, just one. Yeah. But, uh, she didn't foul out. That was good because she got in foul trouble late. <laughs> All right, well, we'll bring this game wrap up to a close. We'll be back with boys action shortly. This is Dale Leach. And Noah Helgut. And Mike Perry signing off. Good night, folks.